everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to another nail video today i thought that we could make a set of animal print nails i'm gonna make them a little bit different and make them blue i will insert a picture here of the inspo for the design that we are going for today so something like this i thought it would look super cool and i wanted to give it a try so i thought we could do it together as always i will leave timestamps in the description and along the bottom of the screen so that if you want to skip to a particular nail art design you can and if you want to see me try and recreate this and make some animal print nails then keep on watching i also quickly just wanted to show you guys the nails that i have on right now i've had them on for almost a week so they are growing out a little bit but i didn't film these nails and i'm really annoyed that i didn't um, I just made them because I was going to wear them for myself at the weekend but I think they turned out so nice and I really wish I'd filmed them so if you want to see this kind of design and you want me to recreate it then let me know okay so onto the nails the first thing I'm going to do is paint all of the base colours so this one is I think that's a greyish blue from Blue Sky um, I'll leave everything that I'm using today linked in the description in case you're wondering what it is. And before I get into the fun stuff, I'm just going to paint two coats of each of the blue colours on the nails. While I'm doing this, I just wanted to ask you guys what kind of content you want to see from me. I've been making a lot of press on nail videos because that's what I'm doing most of at the minute but on YouTube shorts I'm making a lot of nail art videos of me practicing different designs and I could definitely make a longer video on that if that's something that you would like to see. I'm just really curious to know what you guys want to see and what other kind of nail content that you watch because I would definitely be up for switching up my content a little bit. So the first nail art design that I'm going to start with is the leopard print one. So I'm going to take some of the light blue colour on a dotting tool and the only way I can really describe what I'm doing is basically putting blobs of gel in different places on the nail. It's really random, I'm not putting it in a specific pattern and I'm not being too neat with it either. And then I'm taking the darker colour and I'm going around that on the sides but I'm not going all the way around it, I'm only doing a little bit and making sure that there's a bit of a gap. And I should have mentioned that I did cure in between the two colours so I did the light blue and then cured it and then I went in with my darker colour. And that's literally how easy it is to do leopard print nail art, that nail is done already. So next I'm moving on to do the zebra print nail. So I'm going to take some of the light blue colour and I'm taking that on a liner brush. This liner brush is a 20mm one. Um, I just find that I really like working with the longer brushes so that's what I've went for. And I'm just making stripes on the nails. It's kind of hard to explain. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying not to be too precise and trying not to make the lines too straight either. I've found for zebra print that it's really helpful for me if I do the stripes on one side and then turn the whole nail upside down and then do the stripe from the other side. I don't know if that's just because I'm right handed and I really struggle to try and do it upside down but if you're like me and you mainly work on press on nails it's actually so much easier just to flip the nail upside down and do it the same way that you usually would. So I did the zebra print on the thumbnail and then I'm doing it on the ring finger as well. I think these two nails ended up being my favourite. I just really like the way that the zebra print looks. I do want to keep practicing zebra print and improve on it a bit because I do think this is a little bit messy. But the good thing with zebra print is that it's not supposed to be perfect. So I think I can get away with it, hopefully. And then the next nail art design that I'm going to move on to is the cow print design. This one is actually super similar to the leopard print. I'm taking some gel polish on my dotting tool and making some blobs and random shapes. And that is pretty much it for cow print. It's really simple, really straightforward. I don't really think you can go wrong with this one. I just put the gel wherever I think it'll look nice and then go back in at the end and add little bits until I'm happy. And then for the last of these animal print nail art designs, I have left the one that I find the most difficult to last, and that is the crop print design. I'm still getting used to working with Bloomin' Gel, which is why this one is a bit tricky for me, but I think that when crop print is done right, it's actually one of my favourite designs, it can look really nice. 
So the way that I did this crop print is I first went in with a layer of blooming gel. I tried not to make it too thick of a layer because it can really like change the shape of the nail if you use too much. And then you don't cure blooming gel before you add your design. So I've got a dotting tool with some of the light blue gel on it and I'm going right in on top of the uncured blooming gel. I made bigger rectangles in the middle and then I'm going in with dots on the sides. And then I'm going to leave that for a couple of seconds to bloom. Just leave it as long as you like until you're happy with it and then pop it in the lamp to cure. And then that was the last of the nails done. I think that animal print nail art is a really great place to start for beginners because it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward but it still looks really nice and you get a little bit of nail art without having to spend a really long time perfecting your skills. So if you're a beginner nail tech or a beginner nail artist and you haven't tried any of these animal print nail art designs, I would definitely recommend giving them a go and you might be surprised at how simple and how easy you find them. I am just going to finish top coat in this set and then I will let you see the close-ups of course. I just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this then make sure you're subscribed and let me know what you want to see in the comments. If you have liked this video or found it helpful then please give it a thumbs up. And here is the reveal of the final nails. I absolutely love how this set of nails turned out. I think the dark blue zebra, this one, I think this one is my favourite. I think this colour combination works really well together. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Tell me which one of these nails is your favourite and let me know if you're going to recreate any of these or try animal print nail art for yourself. I will leave you with the close-ups of these nails and I will see you next time. Bye!